have we already reached the point of no return, where we're fundamentally altering <clears throat> what this planet is and what kinds of life forms it can serve? For me, this is really becoming a fundamental issue and concern. And as I look forward into the future, I realize our time to come to grips with this problem is very short, but our ability to think in global governance terms is really not there. The things that I personally deal with the most and that cause me the greatest concern um, are issues related to the possibility of a pandemic, either man-made or natural and a number of issues that I believe are accelerating that potentiality in dangerous ways. But I would never say that that is at the expense of concern about how in the world we're going to deal with equitable and effective uh, therapy for the full range of disease, chronic disease and everything for nine billion human beings by the middle of the century. That I find an almost overwhelming and staggering set of problems. We actually are in the middle of several pandemics at this moment. It's just that it's with a remarkable pace, humans are fearful and then suddenly a, a disease just becomes part of the wallpaper. HIV is a perfect example. 75 million people have contracted HIV infection since uh, the beginning of this great pandemic sometime in the 1970s. And uh, 35 million are living with the disease right now. And yet somehow it's already receded to the wallpaper of most people's lives on the planet. I think that we're, we're at a point now where we have to rethink what is a government and what is global governance. Because honestly, if there's any one responsibility you want a government to do, it's to regulate for the safety of the humanity that lives within the boundaries of that country and to defend that humanity. So that sort of is the definition of a state, right? Um, it's, it, we really need for states to develop and understand the necessary toolkit to make the decisions and regulate the decisions that allow technologies like synthetic biology to surge forward for the benefit of mankind, but regulate its safety and make sure that nobody's out there making bioweapons, right? The same with food production. It's up to good governance to make some decisions about what kinds of food production makes sense and what kinds are actually devouring such huge uh, amounts of resources that they should be out of bounds. I mean, we can't come up with a decent climate treaty we can't come up with the law of the seas that all the nations will agree to. We can't deal with fundamental, obviously in our interest, treaty issues as a global community. And um, I feel like we have a, a real race ahead to recognize the threats to the safety and stability of the planet and human health and at the same time deal with all the political and economic issues that keep nations trying to operate in a 20th century model in the 21st century.